Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Janine Pirro is not having it. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please visit that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America, and hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Janine Pirro is probably one of my favorite people to watch, one of my favorite people to listen to. She is a straight shooter. She's tough as nails. Don't let her pretty smile and her nice demeanor fool you. She's tough. And yesterday she went, you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe with her liberal co-host Jessica Tarlov. On The Five, they were talking about the Hunter Biden pardon. And, you know... Janine Pirro actually started, or she, she spoke about how Biden's presidency started and how he's ending it. And in talking about how he's ending it, you know, she said basically, and I'll let you, I'll let her tell you in her own words, but he's starting it the same way he ended it. He will go down, in my opinion, as the most corrupt modern president. The media has tried to whitewash this guy's reputation. He's a career criminal. He's the godfather, okay? He runs an absolute crime family, except his crime family isn't chased by the government. It's backed by the government. It's backed by the power of law, by the power of the government of the United States. That's the difference. No mafia in the world has had the protection that the Biden crime family has had. And they will go down in history as absolutely a crime family and absolutely corrupt. And they deserve the scorn. They deserve the scrutiny for what they've done. This isn't just a Hunter Biden thing. This is a decades-long political crime family operation that culminated with the presidency of the United States. Now, I want you to watch what Janine Pirro says here. And then please let me know what you think in the comments. Seven years, like anything yeah. that he did within that time frame. Did you notice that? I certainly <laughs> did. You know, and some of those years encompass the years that uh, David Weiss, as a so-called special counsel now, I think he is, um, allowed the statute of limitations to run in the highest earning years that Hunter Biden had, uh, and the years that certainly involved his father uh, and, 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 his, uh, and his business dealings. Look, they've done everything they can to try to cover up what they did. They have denied. They have lied. Joe Biden started out this presidency by saying, yeah, I know nothing about my son's businesses. And he's ending his presidency by lying again and pardoning his son. The bottom line here is that they're afraid of something. They're afraid of the Trump Justice Department being weaponized and going after Hunter for things that David Weiss did not indict him for. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, only Donald Trump can speak to that issue. But let me let me just say a couple things, Dana, and I'll be very quick here. Look, they knew that jail time was coming for Hunter Biden. He's convicted of two felonies, not one, two. And if Joe Biden says uh, there's no reasonable prosecutor who would look at these facts and and uh, uh, reach the same conclusion, he was singled out because of my son. Well, if he was singled out because he, your, he was your son, why didn't you fire Merrick Garland? If the Justice Department is so selective in their prosecutions, fire the guy that you hired. OK, let's talk about the fact that he's always said that no one is above the law. Hunter Biden is a class example of someone who's a classic example of someone who's above the law because he was never even sentenced. Most of the pardons that we hear about are pardons where someone has served their time, they paid their debt to society, and they're going to end up, you know, getting it removed. It's it's an impediment going forward. Not this case. We won't even know what he's being, what his sentence would have been. And then for him to call out the media uh, and selective prosecution is absurd. A jury found him guilty. Are you saying that you don't believe in the jury system anymore, Mr. President? And by the way, is your son stupid? He pled guilty to six tax <laughs> evasion counts. So if that's selective prosecution, why didn't he take it to trial and say, this is a selective prosecution? So look, it's all about Joe Biden lying. He's starting and ending his presidency in the same way. And Charlemagne, the God.